Hi everyone! Today, using a small scrap of fabric, some pattern pieces, and some sewing supplies in a sewing machine, we're going to be creating a cat toy that looks like a little mouse. To sew our cat toy, we're going to be using our normal sewing supplies, so your pins, your thread, and your scissors. And then we're also going to be having our mouse pattern. So this is available on our blog and it'll also be in the link to this video in the description. Uh, we'll have our bottom of our mouse, which you're just gonna cut one piece out. So I had some leftover cat fabric. So here's my bottom of the mouse. And then you have your body, which you're gonna be cutting two out. So you'll want them to be, when you cut it, you'll have your fabric in doubled and then you're gonna cut out two pieces. So one and two. Also, you're going to be cutting out about a six inch piece of ribbon. This can be the, the tail. It is optional if you don't have it, but to make it a little more fun. And then you can stuff it. So if you have stuffing, that's great. But if you don't have any stuffing with you, what you can use is fabric scraps. Our first step is we're going to be taking the bottom of our mouse toy and you're taking your ribbon and we're going to be placing it near, this is the back of the bottom of the mouse toy. And you're just going to be pinning it on like so. And then we're going to be sewing across right here. Now that our tail is onto our, the bottom of our mouse, we're going to be pinning the body onto the bottom. So we're going to be pinning the right sides together. So this side is going to be going on this side and we're gonna be pinning from this tip to this tip. So to pin these two pieces together, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to pin the tail down so that it stays in place while I'm doing this. I don't want the tail to end up being, to come undone and then accidentally sewing it. So I'm going to take my bottom and my body and I'm going to match them up. So starting at this tip and then pinning it down and then working my way around this curve. Because it's a curve, it may not fit exactly because this is a straight line, but you're really just trying to get the best fit that you can here. What you want it to look like so that it's all pinned up. Now we're on to attaching our final piece of the body to the rest of our mouse. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to be sewing this curve on to this curve. So to pin this up, I'm going to be putting right sides together. And since they came from the exact same piece, it should be a match. So I'm going to match up these points, put a pin in it, and then keep moving around this curves. And then I'm just going to be sewing along this curve. Okay, so we are up to one of the final steps of our mouse. So what we're going to be doing is sewing the bottom part almost closed. So I'm going to be sewing for probably about a two inch seam from this part of the bottom to right here. And then we'll be leaving this open so that we have a gap to stuff the mouse. So right there. This is what it'll look like. So at this point we have a sewn mouse body and then the tail is inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim up some of this and then flip it inside out. going to flip it. So this is what our little mouse body looks like. Then it has its tail. So at this point you can either stuff it using fiber fill or you can use your fabric scraps and just start to kind of push them in. So I'm going to use fabric scraps. So 
So now that my mouse is all stuffed up, I'm going to hand sew it closed. So I have this little seam back here and you can pin this if you want or you can just go for it. Um, but I'm just going to take a needle and thread and just sew up this little, this little bit. Um, a fun thing you could do before you sew it up is you could also add some catnip in there if you wanted your cat to really play with it. At the end when I hand sew, I will just kind of knot it a few times to make sure that it's in there and then kind of weave it back through the fabric and then I just trim it. And here is my mouse. An optional step at the end is with this tail, what you could do is you can put a little knot at the end of it, and this will just help with any fraying that could occur if your cats are playing with it, if they have nail, if they bite into it, so that the tail doesn't unravel. If you like this video today, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our blog for more ideas.